What's up guys, Clayton from Team Reaper TCG here with Mr. Chris Weber. What's up? Uh, today we are bringing you guys an expanded uh, top four from a League Cup that was from the PVP Arena in Russellville, Arkansas mm -hmm. on July 28th. Yep, yep. Um, it's going to be actually me, Mr. Clayton Fagan, on versus the... Mark Mukau Oliver. Yeah, which I think has also been on stream before. He has been on stream with us before. Matter of fact, I think it was Sylveon that he played mm -hmm. a. Uh, it was, but that was a Sylveon with hand uh, yeah. stall deck. This is not a stall deck. He's playing the uh, Gardevoir Sylveon GX tag team with melodic with melodic flashfire and yeah. melodic says that you can knock it out to attach three um basic energy cards from your discard pile to one of your basic pokemon excluding pokemon gx but it doesn't say anything about gx so oh yeah excluding po uh, pokemon ex yeah, yeah so it doesn't say about gx right so it's actually completely busted for this deck yeah um and I am playing something that a lot of people have been wanting to see for a long time. I am playing a Selgor Stoutland, yeah. which uh, nickname, of course, is Bark and Cover. Um, it is a, a fun deck. I love playing it. It is a bad deck. Don't play it if unless you want to lose. I don't know. Um, I thought the meta was right for it. Uh, so I went ahead and made the call and ended up making top four. But, um, yeah, so we'll just go ahead and get on to the match and see how this goes. All right, so I am going to start here, and I, the glare is pretty bad. I'm pretty sure that's a Lillipup well, that I'm starting with. Well, it's a reverse holo something, but yeah, all either, of your Pokemon are All of mine are reverse holo. Um, I'm going to start with the Bridget, which is actually what I want to start with every single game, um, I turn one. Do you just run one Bridget? I run two Bridget. Two Bridgets? Yep. So I'm probably going to grab a uh, Lillipup and two uh, Shelmet, uh, maybe a Z Zerua, depending on... I didn't see the Zoric in my hand. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to grab a Shelmet, a Lillipup, and a Zerua. And I played the Paralyzing Gaze Zerua because it is expanded. Yeah, because why not? Yeah, because why not? Not that I ever attack with it, but it is the better of the cards. Um, Yo, you got to flex on them. Uh, yeah, it went up in price after Zork started getting popular, and yeah, then yeah. so there's a pass. I think I did see the Zork GX in your hand, and then so Mark is probably looking to set up some Phoebus along with maybe another attacker. So he's going to attach for turn here on the mm -hmm. Gardevoir Sylveon, and he does get to go second, so it's like an immediate energy search, you know, deck search type thing onto a bench Pokemon. Yeah, which absolutely. Is really nice. Okay, I do see the Zork in my hand. Any counter catcher. And, and so, if, so if you don't know anything about Bark and Cover, let me just give you a little background here yeah, as Mark puts down the Eevee Snorlax. So this is a deck that I was going to actually use last year at the Portland Regionals. It's a deck that I've been working on with Tom Philby, um, who's really the mastermind behind the deck. Uh, Mark's going to greens here. And also Scott Creech. And then Evan Malone did a lot of testing uh, with the deck as well. Um, we had the deck... It was secret for a while um, until things happened I was not able to make it to Portland. Mm -hmm. So when that happened, uh, Tom went ahead and went on Verbank and put the list public. But um, So how the deck works is it's not a stall deck. Uh, it does attack with a Selgor. It has an attack called Deck and Cover, which you uh, poison and paralyze your, po your, your opponent's Pokemon. does 50 damage plus the poison for 60. And then you shuffle it in. And then you shuffle it in your deck. <laughs> Then you put up the Stoutland. Stoutland's ability says that your opponent cannot play supporter cards from their hand. So the only way to get out of the uh, paralysis is either switch, uh, scramble switch, skate rope, things like that. Yeah, so, skateboard too. Yeah, so basically a skateboard also, which is a thing that kind of worried me. I wasn't sure how many people in Expanded were going to play the skateboard. So uh, Mark's going to grab, uh, it looks like a switch and a greens here. Mm -hmm. Greens for next turn, definitely. Yeah, it'd be greens for next turn. He's going to go ahead and elixir here. Um, but yeah, so the Stoutland, they cannot play supporters, and so your goal is to try to lock them out of the game, basically, while attacking. Um, so that you're actually in the game. So you're actually in the game, yeah, and you want to try to mill through your deck as quick as possible to get to where basically all you have is a Selgors, Shelmets, and, and Energy, and that's it. Right, right. Um, everything else is in your hand or in the in the discard because you're not going to ever deck out because you're constantly recycling your Selgors. Yeah, and there we see the fairy song to attach two to the bench Snorlax. Mm -hmm. Yes. Snorlax. So now he's got three energy, four energy first turns. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, so I top decked the end here. I had the Sycamore in hand and was ready to go, 
but because of him using the greens and i know that he has a switch in hand right right all right so now i did evolve into herdier which has an ability called treasure hunt uh you can take an item from your discard and put it into your hand but i had no items uh so i'm going to play the end here so we're both going to shuffle and draw six and that puts the switch and the greens back in right, the deck right. so He'll get a fresh six, though. Yeah, it's almost like he didn't even use the support of the last turn. Right, absolutely. Because he didn't use anything that he right. grabbed, right. I would say that your setup so far has been pretty good. The setup right now is pretty good. Uh, the Zork especially helps because I'll be able to trade. So I'm going right. to draw six here. And I see a, a level ball. There's an egg. So immediately I'm going to trade the egg away. Do you just run one egg? Or there's I just one run. There's there's just one. Uh, run one. There's the rare candy. I see a couple of floatstones too. Okay. And then a rare, yeah, rare candy. Level ball is really good. Level ball is really good, especially when you can get it back with herdier. So you can go herdier, or you can go level ball, grab the herdier, play the herdier, and get the level ball right back out of the discard, mm -hmm. and then use it again. So it's, it's it is, very good. Uh, Excel Gore's HP 90? It is. 90? It's, it's Actually, I think it is. Yeah, it is 90, so you're able to get it with the level ball as well. Nice. Yeah, I remember okay. back in the day, Jirachi EX had 90 HP, and it had the same ability as That's right. Tapu Lele That's GX. right, yeah. So and you can get like it with level, level ball. ball. Absolutely. Pretty cool. And now I think you're just missing, what, a floatstone and probably a DCE? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I went ahead and just passed here. I see a trainer's mail. Yeah, and I, I think at this point, uh, Mark would definitely like to just start taking knockouts. Um... That way, maybe you don't get set up as well. You don't get set up as well. He's going to grab a Gladian here off the trainer's mail. Um, the thing about Bark and Cover is, as long as they still have prizes left to take, you're never out of the game. You yeah. can legitimately get them down to where they have one prize left and lock them out of the game, mm -hmm. and then it's over. So that is one thing about... Bark and Cover is you have time. So he's going to go ahead and Gladi in here. Yeah, and there's the Phoebus that comes down too. Oh, yes, the Phoebus. 30 HP Phoebus. I'm sure there had to have been another Phoebus he could play, but maybe not. Maybe not. I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm not too I, into Phoebus dice, cards. Dice to Jet Punch. <laughs> but I'm not playing uh, I'm not playing Buzzwall this time. Right, right. All right, so he's going to attach for turn here, and that's an energy switch. And nice. he's going to go ahead and take the knockout here. Um on the yeah it is a piplup pie face dog not piplup lily yeah, pup lily pup same thing piplup lily pup <laughs> yeah doing some thinking all right so he's going to go ahead and take the knockout here and he's going to looks like he's going to leave the energy now he has the option to uh move as many energy as he wants uh from his active to to these other Pokemon. Right, right. And see, that's really good. Like, if you think your Pokemon's gonna get knocked out, but in this case, like, the right, yeah, there's no chance. Yeah, there's out. no chance of him getting knocked out. So I'm gonna go ahead and promote the Shelmet here. Uh, I'm gonna propagate and trade. Uh, see another Zerua, but there's really no reason to drop another uh, Zerua right now. Mm -hmm. I don't need two Zorak unless I can get the Skyfield. And I do run one copy of Skyfield. Yeah, and I imagine uh, bench space is very very precious. It's very precious. Um, the deck pretty much loses to uh, Parallel City. Yeah. It's very hard to recover because um, you, you just really need to have that full bench. Mm -hmm. uh, which is also why I play three Chorus in the deck because Expanded, you're known to have large benches and almost everything that gets yeah, played. Yeah. Um, yeah, and there was uh, a couple of Darkrai players too, so yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Big benches were... Alright, so there's an Gore, and then I'm gonna prop Egg and looks like Ultra Ball here. Yeah, Ultra Ball the Egg. And, and counter, counter Catcher. catcher. Yeah, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna need the Counter Catcher in this matchup, because everything he has is large mm -hmm. uh, HP, and that's really the only thing I'd use the Counter Catcher for, is to pull something up that has a large HP. That way, when I do use deck and cover, it doesn't knock out. Because the whole point of the deck is to have them not get knocked out with active Pokemon. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, that's where Dusnor comes in. And we don't see that yet. Uh, that's something that has to come later. Because you do not want to get uh, your Duskulls knocked out. Right, right. Alright, so there's yeah, my first deck and cover. Step. So now he is poisoned <laughs> and paralyzed. And he'll take 60 damage, and then I am going to put up the Stoutland. So already it's working. So already, this yeah, is what, turn already three? it's turn working. Three it's, it's turn three. 
Seems like um, a pretty good setup. Yeah, it's not quite locked in yet. Um, I still need to go ahead and get another Shelmet down. I need to. I definitely need to get another Lillipup for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, you always want to try to get two Stoutland if you can, just in case they have that uh, escape rope or that switch. Right, right. To be able to knock out your Stoutland. But uh, it's it's not bad so far. This will definitely slow him down to where he'll have to play a switch if he can get one. Mm -hmm. um, I know he plays Scramble Switch, and I believe he also plays Switch. Yes, maybe a one of. I think yeah, I think it's a one of. Um, he did send me his deck list, so let me. Yeah, and with two Stoutland set up, even if the opponent does escape rope, then you can just switch into the other Stoutland. So right. Then that would make that useless. Yeah, he gets well. It's useless to, uh, to the point where they still can't play a supporter, mm -hmm. but they can probably take the knockout. Oh yeah, that's true. That's so true. that because they can still attack. Right, right. There we see a dive ball. All right, so he plays one switch, one scramble switch, and I do not see an escape rope in his list. So those are the only two outs he has. To be able to get out right, of right. Uh, paralysis. And there's another Phoebus that comes down with the dive ball. And. Uh, okay, there's Wondrous Labyrinth. And mm -hmm. that card is another card that hurts quite a bit. Because you just have 4 DC. I just have 4 DCE. So, uh, there's, <laughs> so immediately I dropped the Skyfield, even though I was trying to save it. You're like, no. No. Yeah, I can't have that. But at this point, I'm really not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and prop trade. Mm -hmm. yeah, goes Guzma and Excel Excel Gore. Gore. And I believe that's a Bridget in my hand. It looks like a, maybe, yeah, rare, rare candy and then maybe a Bridget. Yeah, so it's not, I don't have the best hand right here. I was really depending on that trade to get something. I mean, Bridget's not a horrible Bridget's not to play horrible. Right now. Bridget's not horrible right here because I'm able to set up the rest of my bench. And see, and this is another thing to where now I'm going to lose a Stoutland. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Um, so it, well, I, you know, obviously, I, I, yeah, obviously, I'm looking to retreat it and put something up that can get knocked out right, that right. I can afford to get knocked out. Um, it's also hard. I only play one rescue rescue stretcher, so I have to be careful as to what I actually put up in the active to get knocked out, because I need to make sure that I have enough shellments to to keep recycling. Right, right. Um, so there's the dust school. Go ahead and going to come down. The Lillipup, of course, and another Shelmet. Yeah, so you retreat here, but do you retreat into the Shelmet or the Lillipup? I probably, I, I want to say I retreat into the Shelmet. Um, I, Maybe since you already have the Excel Gore right, set up? Right, yeah, because I've already got the Excel Gore, so... And at this point, I'm hoping that he doesn't have a Guzma, because I am going to retreat to save... To, to try to save the dog to be able to mm -hmm. use it later. Yeah, Guzma or Candy. You need a you need a hot top deck or a hot, right. hot yeah, trade absolutely. for the next turn. Yeah, so I am gonna go ahead and retreat into the Shelmet. Yeah, and then uh, I guess if you're Mark here, then you're just you're just taking the knockouts when you can. Get yeah, them. you're gonna take the knockouts and you're gonna play cards when you can. Right, um, right. So this is an opportunity for him to be able to play a supporter. Yeah, maybe like uh, you know, just play the greens down. Just get a couple cards you can use for the next right. Turn, you know, a switch, maybe a scramble switch. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of options um, depending on what he's got. So he's battle gonna go ahead and battle compressor. Nice. <laughs> some it looks like here. he's setting up for a melodic. Okay, so yeah, this is what's happening. So you battle compressor. He's gonna put all the energy in, and the melodic knocks itself out. Mm -hmm. So I do take. Okay, so there's a Guzma on the Stoutland. So this is not good. Right. Um, he's gonna Phoebus, and then he's, <laughs> and then I have to read the melodic because yeah, I wasn't the, sure what it melodic. did. Um, I was pretty, you know, the knockout thing. I'm like, okay, well, it doesn't really matter because I'm still gonna have to take. Uh, basically, he's got it set up to where I have to take eight prizes. Right, right. Because he's gonna knock out you right. know, two, two melodics. Right. So yeah, so he's gonna knock out, out a melodic here, words. and then attach three. And then so then he's going to GX here. Now, the Magical Miracle GX does 200, which that doesn't even matter because anything he does is going to one-shot my Pokemon except mm -hmm. for the, the Zorark. But the three extra energy allows him his bonus, which is to have me shuffle my hand into my deck. <laughs> so I am not only knocked out and losing the Stoutland because of the Guzma, mm -hmm. I have no hand. You have no so hand. this is actually really, really strong from Mark right here. Right, right. Yeah, this is a big power play. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, because at this point he can just like rip through your Pokemon. If you yes, want if I don't. Yeah, so you do have trade though. 
I do have trade. I'm not sure what I drew right there, so here's the propagate. So we're gonna propagate and we're gonna trade here. Mm -hmm. It was a silent lab. Okay, so not only is it the Lele, but I also got a Stoutland. So you need a rare candy though. I do need a rare candy. I, so I yeah, I would probably get. I think I call Riss here because I don't want to get rid of a rare candy or another Stoutland because he just knocked out a Stoutland. Right. Yeah, and Colrus definitely draws you. Right. Colrus is only drawing me seven because uh, I do have Skyfield, but I don't have another Pokemon to put down. Right. So I'm okay with losing the. Um, I'm okay with 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 putting the. Uh, other stadium back in. Yeah, and the the Silent Lab doesn't really do anything in this matchup because doesn't it turn off basic Pokemon? It hurt, actually hurts me, you know, more than it would hurt him because he doesn't play any, any abilities right. except for the melodic. Uh, the melodic, which is an evolution. Right. Um, it hurts me. I do play Mew Ex, mm -hmm. and also with the Lele. Yo, that's uh, and and then of course the uh, Propagate Egg. So what is the Mew Ex for? Just another attack. It's or? basically another Selgor. Right. Because I it's DCE and I can use it to deck and cover. So and also if I need to, um, like in this matchup, I would, you know, if I was going to use Riotus Beating, um, because the Guardi Sylveon is resistant to dark, right. I would want to use the Mew oh, to get yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. twenty extra mm -hmm. instead of getting the minus twenty. Yeah. So no, this no. was actually really a really good trade here. So um, it, it I went from zero cards back up to nine yeah back up to like seven yeah. eight yeah or eight yeah absolutely cool. and then you drew two cards and then drew like seven more cards all in the same turn right so. absolutely yeah 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 so and then of course propagate here ultra ball grabbing uh so it looks like i'm gonna grab the mew here right right because i have the acelgore inactive now the acelgore has free retreat the mm -hmm. Shelmet has three retreat, <laughs> so it's kind of weird how that works. Uh, Maybe he evolves and he gets faster. Yeah, so I'm gonna put up the Mew here, and I'm gonna use Deck and Cover. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't able to get. Uh, he's gonna be able to play a supporter. I wasn't able to get the rare candy uh, up and going. And see, that makes sense though, because then it saves your Excelgors, which have to evolve. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. So you use the Mew and put it back, and then yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the Shelmet uh, back up, I believe. Maybe the okay. I don't remember what I did here. Maybe I did put the Lele because he can't. He's already used a GX. Mm -hmm. um, he can one shot it with the um, Guardi Sylveon because it does have the choice band. Yeah, it's hitting 180 right now. But he would have to uh, switch and do some stuff to get out of it and uh, the Eevee Snorlax, the dump truck press is only going to do 150 max with the choice band. Yeah, because it hits harder versus evolution. Right, one. absolutely. So um, I believe that's why I went ahead and put up the Lele here. Dump truck press. Dump truck press, <laughs> yeah. What a name for an attack. Right. And then it's got Megaton friends. I love it. And then, of course, Eevee's little cheer-up attack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he's definitely looking for... I mean, a Guzma. He's looking, well, he's looking for a switch. Um, he's burned a Guzma. I'm not sure. I mean, There's if a, he could Guzma drunk. if he could Guzma up the Lillipup, that would probably be the best uh, thing for him to do. And he, did, he did get Verse Seeker off of the Trainer's Mill, so he could Guzma. It kind of depends he's, on what he wants to do here to true. get, you know... He could Guzma out of it. Um, he's going to go ahead and grab greens here. I think he's just trying to set up for the long game. Yeah, that would make sense. Just go ahead and put the items in your hand. Well, I didn't see if he had an energy also, so he may not have a way to get out of the... You know, if he guzma he may not have a way to get out of it. Right, right. Yeah, that was the other That was the other thing I was thinking. Because, like, you know, Snorlax is four. Right. And I'm going to look up what Phoebus is, is. It's probably at least one. I think it's probably one. Of course, he could use the Melodic and knock it, knock it out. Right, right. Which would also act like a zero. Which would act three. like, yeah, which would act like a, uh, f a float stone or just a way to get, you know, back into it. All right, so he is going to grab the uh, power plant and the uh, scramble switch here. And power plant turns off. Power plant turns off Lele, but it also turns off Mew. And Zork? It does turn off Zork as well. However, it doesn't, right, but I, it doesn't turn off the egg, so I can still propagate to get stuff like Ultra Balls and things. But yeah, it mm -hmm. definitely hurts. It's basically a. a well, I'd say it's, it's like a silent lab, but it's not. It's for EX yeah. and GX, so it's actually pretty good. And I'm sure that he was probably just as happy to... Yep. So he's going to scramble switch here. Right, right. so he's going to scramble switch here. Just um, put all six there? <laughs> right, but, I mean, he might as well, so... Um, oh, yeah, because you put all six, and then you can move the other ones back. Right, you, right. You, can, well, you can move them with the, the Kelio Storm. So. Right, right. Yeah, and Phoebus does have one retreat. Okay, 
Awesome. But he's only going to hit me one for 150 because he didn't have the choice man. Choice man was on the other, so. Mm-hmm. It's a very cool attack. Very cool. It is. It's a very good attack. It's a very good deck. It's I'm excited deck. for it post rotation, for sure. Oh, it'll be good post rotation. And it's good and expanded right now. Like, I, I, you know, the melodic, it's a great idea because, especially with using that magical miracle GX. I and mean, even if you just run it, like, more turbo y with, like, max elixirs and, like, energy switches and stuff. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like, it's still pretty good. But, yeah, I think the Melodic helps it get, like, over the edge with mm-hmm. y- being able to use the GX attack, yep. like, on a consistent basis. Because even with Max Elixirs and Energy Switches, like, mm-hmm. how often are you actually going to get six energy on there? All right, so let's see what I do here. Um, I have a Float Stone in my hand, but to be honest, uh, I only run three. All right, so now I'm going to put the... Uh, Some puppies I, back I, in Yeah, there. I'm going to put the whole line back in, because um, that is the key. That's the key to the deck. Mm-hmm. Um now I have a float stone in hand. I don't really want to attach it to the Lele because I only run three. If he uses a field blower, mm-hmm. then you know I have to be able to retreat uh, the Stoutland for this to work. Yeah, and you've already used one. Right. Please. So I'm only so basically what I'm doing is I only want to attach one at a time, at all times, anyways, just mm-hmm. to be able to minimize the damage from the field blower itself. Um, see, I almost attached. I changed my mind. I went ahead and call wrist. Uh, like. Carlos for eight here is actually really good. Um, he had to drop the other uh, Guardi Sylveon mm-hmm. to be able to uh, do anything there, any kind of a decent attack. I wonder what Colrus was like whenever it was standard legal. I was probably Colrus for ten a lot. Like, I would imagine. I, wonder, I, wonder I would imagine was, there was a bunch of full benches a lot too. I wonder if it was busted. I mean, I, it probably was. Because it seems pretty busted now. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love it. It's one of my favorite cards in Expanded, mm-hmm. especially in this deck, because you know that you're going to have Skyfield, and you're hoping somebody else has Skyfield and just yeah. be able to, you know, if you can call this for a 10 or 11. So there's the Field Blower to get rid of the Power Plant and the Choice Band. That's so now good. I'm able to actually trade. So let's see what we can do here. Uh, go ahead and Propagate. Propagate Trade. Yep, Propagate Trade. Your All right, there's candy. a Rare Candy. And the Stoutland. <laughs> I drew into the Stoutland and the Rare Candy, so that's pretty good. It's pretty good top decks. Mm-hmm, absolutely. And I believe I also have the Dustnor in hand as well. Which is also pretty good. That, and I'm, I need to start using it here. Well, because that just says knock out the Phoebus and... Yeah. I don't know. Whatever else you want to do. Right, absolutely. Well, knock out the Phoebus to go ahead and take a prize for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to have to take eight prizes no matter what happens. Right, right. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and attach DCE here, and I just need to hit into it for 100. Make sure to spread the damage around, really. Um, he does play Max Potion, so... Um, I'm saving the Rare Candy, um, just in case. I don't want him to Guzma knock out or do anything... Um, yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to commit the. Rick I don't want to commit. Yeah, I don't want to commit it yet. Immediately, Guzma's whatever. You right, want to absolutely. Because yeah. then you're out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm still trying to. I'm still trying to set up here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you really want to rare candy the Lily Pub. Well, like I said, he's now he's now he's down to two prizes, but it's it's not over by any means. He can't one shot the Zorark. So right. Well, um, well, he can with the Eevee Snorlax. Yes, he can with the Eevee Snorlax. But so I'm only, definitely only right. He just needs that Guzma for game, but. All right, so it's going to be a prop trade here. Okay, there's a verse seeker and a float nice. stone. All right, so obviously I, I think a rare candy Stoutland. All right, yeah, so there's the DCE to a Selgor, float stone on the Stoutland. So here comes at least a lock for one turn. Yeah. Uh, he's already used a scramble switch. Mm-hmm. So the only thing he has left is a switch. And I'm sure that whenever you were playing, you know, him having a switch wasn't really like on your mind. Uh, like, how- it, it, How many people in Expanded probably play Switch? It know? was a little bit. I wasn't sure if he had one or not. Mm-hmm. Um, I was really more worried about Comfy, thinking that he played Comfy and because it's a fairy deck. But right. when I found out it was Melodic, I was definitely... Um, I was relieved, for sure. But yeah, Scramble Switch and, and Switch are the only two things that he can do to, to, to get out of it here. So another chorus for seven... Yeah, because I don't think you want to play anything else. No, uh-uh. No, and he bumped the Skyfield, so. Yeah, you gotta leave that last bench space open. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I gotta have, well, I gotta put down either a Mew yeah, or whatever uh, flex spot you a want. Sh- Shelmet, you know, kind of depends. Uh, the Zorak is really good to keep in, of course. Mm-hmm. I think I saw a Lele, Ultra Ball, Excelgor, Silent Lab again. <laughs> You're like, Silent Lab, go away. Alright, so we're gonna prop. <laughs> 
here and I believe it's gonna be a prop for an ultra ball I have a rare candy in hand so I definitely want to try to go ahead and I want to get the dust snore out now mm -hmm. um, I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going for if it's not in my hand yeah cuz you don't play do you play dust clops I do not No, it's a two zero one so I have the rare candy into it yeah I just don't have room room for it so yeah. Okay, yeah, so I am going to grab the dust snore right here and go ahead and rare candy into the dust snore. Mm -hmm. So do you play Dowsing Machine? I do. Yeah, it seems like the better ace spec. Yeah, sure. and it's very good to get back with Treasure Hunt. Especially. I mean, yeah, yeah. Well, oh. <laughs> so <laughs> you treasure hunt, yeah, you treasure hunt for it back and then prop, and then so now you're just... Back when the power, yeah. back when the Lost Zone wasn't a thing. Oh, yeah. Think if, think if prison cards went to the graveyard or the discard pile instead. All right, so I went ahead and used deck and cover there, and now he's at least locked out unless he can grab a switch. That's mm -hmm. the only way he gets out of this. And, yeah, I think that if he was a, if he's able to knock out the Stoutland... If he knocks out the Stoutland, it's, it's probably over. Yeah, Like, yeah. it's probably over at that point that would because be very I, it'd be very hard to recover because I don't even have a Lillipup down. So he's going to go just, ahead and pass here. He just passes. Pass in hopes that you don't have the DC. Right, absolutely. So there's the Mew. So mm -hmm. now the Mew acts as another. Uh, it so acts as, as another um, so cell board. On the board. And you've got 12, 24, 26. Uh, All right, so I'm going to play the Sycamore here because at this point I am just 31. trying to mill through my deck mm -hmm. to make sure that all I have is my deck is, is a cell gores, shelmets, and DCs. That's all I want right now because I can prop trade. Mm hmm. And then even if even if I have no cards left in deck, mm -hmm. I use a Selgor to uh, deck and cover. I have three cards in my deck. I prop, I, I draw for turn, mm -hmm. and then prop trade for the rest of my cards. So you're just like stacking your deck. Pretty, pretty much. Good. I just want to <laughs> empty. Right. So even if I have no cards, every single turn I'm going to be able to use. Yeah, but in a legal way, you know. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And you do have because it DC doesn't matter what order they go into. Um. So he has 31 damage counters on his Pokemon. Right. Imagine if he played unknown damage. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Actually, it's banned. Damage it? got banned. Yeah, oh, no oh. damage got banned. Yeah, it got banned. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, it got banned. It's, 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 I mean, with tag teams coming out and everything, yeah, they were just like, it's too much. Okay. All right, so there's the other Shelmet going down. Uh, there's the DCE. And then now I am going to go ahead and make sure that uh, I have enough here because the whole goal is to not knock out the active right because if you knock out the active it ruins the lock then it ruins the lock they're able to come up they're still locked out because they can't put supporters but mm -hmm. they're not paralyzed right so at this point you take all the damage and go ahead and i'm going to take the knockout there take three prizes nice nice and then I'm surprised you didn't go ahead and knock out the Phoebus. Either. Well, I, the way, the reason I didn't is because I'm just trying to build up damage, you know. I, even though it's only 30 to knock the Phoebus out. Yeah. Um, at this point, I have the lock established. There's yeah. really nothing in my deck that's going to help me. Well, and it doesn't matter if you knock out the Phoebus or not. It doesn't right. matter because, because it's, it's, it's... Right, I still have to take three more prizes. He's not going to bench another basic. No, he's absolutely not. No, if he benches another Phoebus, then it's... You know, well, yeah. at, at this point, it's kind of like I wish I played um, Target Whistle. Right. Because then I just Target Whistle the Phoebus and go ahead and take the last two prizes. Yo, it's my game now. Right. But now what I'm looking at here is I'd like to get the lock at least one more turn. Um... But you do need the DCE. I do need the DCE, but also, at this point, I can get to where um, I can also go ahead and ride his beating. Right, right. Um, but he is resistant, so... Yeah, yeah, you're just trying to figure out if he can... I'm trying to... Right, right. so he's going right to pass now. here. Yeah. So now he's at 120. Good. So I need 140. Right. Which is not possible anymore because your Skyfield is gone. Right, so okay, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, evolve my Acelgor here. Mm -hmm. All right, so prop trade. Dowsing okay, there's nice. a Dowsing Machine. Dowsing Machine's pretty good. It is. Let's see. What do you What do you target with Dowsing Machine? Maybe nothing yet. Maybe just save it. Oh no no. Okay, this is this is this is where it gets cute here. Um, actually, I am eyeing down the Skyfield. Okay okay. So you Dowsing Machine for the Skyfield, fill the bench. And, and then, then riot is speeding yeah, yeah, for so the knockout. So okay, yeah, okay, so because okay. you can grab so dowsing machine you just grab any trainer. Well, because I mean you are still playing with time, so you right do absolutely win right win so, as fast as possible if you do have the win. 
Right, and also knowing that, you know, I don't know if he plays Escape Rope or Switch, so at this point, I need to go ahead and just take the game. Yeah, just, just end it. End the court. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, so I douse the machine and grab the Skyfield. So, at this point, I'm kind of doing math to figure out, you know, with resistance and everything else. And I'm also trying to figure out if I want to go ahead and play the Mew. Mm-hmm. Um, it's still poison. If I can get the Mew, right, and so he's still poison. So, you need... Uh, I need to. I need. You need 130 damage because poison will kill it between turns. Right. But 140 would just be good. Right. Absolutely. So yeah, there's game so there right there. It. So, yeah, that was. Uh, yeah, I had all the Pokemon and stuff, the basics I needed in hand. And now we're to going to. So now we're going to game two. Game dos. Yeah. And so uh, that's how that deck is supposed to work. That's how mm-hmm. that's how Bark and Cover works right there. I feel like it's very possible for Mark to beat you. Like, he just needs to outspeed you. Well, he needs to outspeed me, and also I need to be able to not set up. Right. Um, and, and brick, basically. But usually that goes hand in hand, because it, if, well, if a deck outspeeds you, then they're knocking out the stuff that you're trying to set up. Not necessarily, because most of my deck, you're taking single prizes. Mm-hmm. And like I said, until they take their last prize, I am without a doubt not out of it. Yeah. Cause because once I get the lock established, it doesn't matter how many prizes they have left, mm-hmm. then it's almost impossible for them to yeah, get Yeah, and out you're, of you're just trying to get basic Pokemon to stick. If right, you absolutely. Get, if you can get your basics to stick, you know. Then right, absolutely, yeah. Then that's what I, you know, once, and then once I get my first deck and cover down, that's at least going to hopefully buy me a turn. Yo, Evo Soda, I like that card. <laughs> All right, That's so I get a mulligan here. Yeah, Evo Soda is a pretty and awesome card. Let's see, card. I have... Wow, okay, so I have a Bridget and a Sycamore. So this is a really good... It's pretty good. Yeah, that's a that's that's basically what I want, is I want to turn one Bridget, and then I want to be able to next turn just dump my entire mm-hmm. hand, uh, no matter what I have, even if I have, you know, obviously it kind of depends, but... Um, yeah, and that was always the case. All right, so here Bridget, we go. Even when Bridget was standard... All right, so I did get. Uh, I did not draw my mulligan here. Nest ball. Although the okay, rest- so yeah, I went ahead. And he's he let me go ahead and draw my mulligan, and then because it was a basic Pokemon, he went ahead and let me put it down. Nice guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I think I was actually talking to the judge right here to make sure that it was okay and mm-hmm. everything was fine. Yeah. Yeah. The the rest of your hand though. It- doesn't entirely look like something that you want to stick more away. No, it doesn't. I do have chorus, um, so you know, depending on, of course, the Bridget and then how many he, Pokemon he gets down. Mm-hmm. He, he hit the Max Elixir. Yeah, he hits the Max and Elixir. There's the Energy for Turn. And oh, and then he plays the end, end knocks the Bridget <laughs> out of my hand. Oh man! So he was actually able to play a good portion of his hand, and then you know, yeah, shuffle, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Play in with like Max Elixir, in. hit it, attach for turn, and then yeah. end. So Nest yeah, that's ball, actually Max a really Elixir, good. That's a really good start turn. for him for sure. Very good, very good. If only a he was going Selgor, two Zork, a Chorus, a Level Ball, and a TC. <laughs> that is garbage. And then so there's the draw for turn. Just play draw, and it looks like it looks like a Hurtier <laughs> or a Stoutland. I yeah, can't tell. So I'm gonna level ball here. Mm, I mean, you got the Zorks in hand, so I don't really think you want to chorus to. Two. No, I really <laughs> well. It's gonna be three because I'm level ball right now, but yeah, I don't want to chorus to three. That just yeah. feels really, really bad. So I feel like the, I feel like I want to grab a Zerua. Yeah, no, I'm gonna grab a Shelmet. Hmm. Did I have something else in my hand? Yeah, like if you put down the Zoru and just pass, then you can evolve into Zork and start doing some trading. Do I have next a Zoru in my hand? No, it looks like a Selgor, double Zork, DCE, and Chorus. I don't oh, no. <laughs> know why I didn't grab a Zoru. Are Zerua. you going to decide to. I really should have grabbed a Zoru. I'm not oh, sure. You yeah, I'm not sure why I did that. Because I would have been able to at least trade the next oh, turn. Oh, there we go with the. Yeah. Just attacking right away. Oh, you had a Zoru. Oh, in the I had active. a Zoru in the active. Dangler. Yeah. I still probably should have grabbed Zerua instead of Shelman. Although I did have a Selgor in hand and DCE. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I think that was my plan was to go ahead and... Oh, and I top deck the end. Nice. Okay, well, nice, nice. I kind of lucked out of that one. Yeah. But uh, I think the reason I did that was because I had the Selgor in hand mm-hmm. and the DCE, so I'm at least able to uh, go ahead and deck and cover now. Right, right. Well, and, you know, his his Guardi Sylveon had one energy on the active. So right, absolutely, like, well, yeah. Well, you know, you would need some cards right. to be able to even yep. take the knockout. All so. right, so there's a Lillipup, uh, two Aselgor, a, a Shelmet. And, okay, so we do Just have some Pokemon to be able to put down. Pokemon. Yeah. 
This is still not great. I uh, do not have a supporter, but uh, at least I have him paralyzed and hopefully can buy a turn. Yeah, and you put up the Dusk Gold. Yeah, I put up the Dusk Gold. I, don't, I did a deck search, and if it gets knocked out, I'm okay with the Dusk Gold because I do have another one. And mm -hmm. I really don't want to set up until um, later with the Dusk Snore. It doesn't matter. Um, mm -hmm. The reason that only your active Pokemon has so much glare... The ba light baffles is, me. I think the light yeah. may be directly above it. Yeah, <laughs> it's only that Pokemon. I feel like it's... But we do this, know it's a Dusk Gold. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, it does. The camera was angled just perfect to mm -hmm. only have that... All right, so he's going to Greens here. I'm imagining he'll grab a... Yep, there's the Switch... He's like, we'll have none of the, the these shenanigans. And a Verse game. Seeker. Yeah, because you can always just Verse Seeker the Greens mm -hmm, for next yeah. turn. So Greens and Expanded is pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. It's not bad. Especially with all the Ace Specs and yeah, absolutely. Max, you know, Max Elixirs, Battle Compressors and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and Greens for that computer search. <laughs> oh, there's a the Scramble Switch right there. Yep, there is the Scramble Switch. Oh, so he... Okay, so he has the Switch also in hand now. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> He's like, yeah, so he's ready we to go. Yeah, we're not having any of this. Is. Yeah. All right. So, looks like I put up the Shelmet. I think you just have Pokemon in your hand. All right. So, I'm going to use the Treasure Hunt for the only item, which is a level ball. I mean, it's nice you get to reuse it. Yeah, that's true. But. Yeah, and I'm just going to grab another <laughs> Shelman, I believe, because I have two Aselgor in hand, and like I don't really know what's going on. Well, how many Pokemon do you run? Uh, there's 25 total Pokemon. Yeah, so the so chances of me drawing and grabbing Pokemon, or uh, it's there's a high chance Yo, that I'm going to have Pokemon in my hand. That's more Pokemon than are in a theme deck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to Aselgor, and I have Free Retreat, so I'm just going to mm -hmm. put up the Zerua. Since I don't have a Zorark. Yeah. And he's going to play Ouch. Silent Lab. Yeah, that kind of hurts. And he's going to take the knockout. So he's down to three, and I still haven't done anything yet. I have to promote. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and promote the show. Or, uh, Excel Gord. Yeah, I'm going to promote the Excel Gord because it has free retreat. So there's another Excel Gord coming down. What was... You, it was a Rare Candy and then... Yeah, I'm not sure what a top deck is there. Is it that one? Okay, so you just have a Rare Candy in hand. Yeah. Oh, wow. So there's <laughs> another pass. This is not looking good at all. There's Phoebus. Uh, Verse Seeker for Greens. Mm -hmm. mm. Wondrous Labyrinth, which mm -hmm. is not good either. And a Guzma. Alright, so Guzma for next turn. Probably to take out that Stoutland. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so right now Mark's just trying to keep it to where he stays ahead. Yeah. You know, he doesn't blow Absolutely. the lead that he yeah, has. So now he's down to two, and I really just... I put down a Lillipup, and... Pass. Turn. Yeah, I just passed. I probably should have retreated, but it didn't Guzma. matter because I knew he had the Guzma. So, and then he yeah, up even to Phoebus, and that's going to be a knockout on the Stoutland. And this game is pretty much over. Yeah, this is not, did not work out for no, you. No, this is called Brick City. <laughs> and then yeah, so I draw the Ultra Ball and scoop it up. Yep, yep, yep. So at this point, I have determined that I am going to go first, mm -hmm. and time actually gets called. Like in the middle. Like right in the middle of us, yeah. So we're trying to figure out what's going on. So there was quite a delay. Yeah, like at least 15 to I would say 15 minutes. to 20 minutes trying Easy. to figure out what's, you know, what to do here because we haven't officially started game three, although we have determined who was going to go it. first. Right. So what, what we – or what the judge has decided is that um, – we will start game three because it had been determined who's going to go first. So it's not like a sudden death kind of... They don't do sudden death anymore, but it's also mm -hmm. not a tiebreaker game. Mm -hmm. um, and there's going to be a mulligan. Um, and I feel like the sudden death became the tiebreaker game. Kind of, but sudden death was one prize apiece. Oh. Okay. So, or I believe it used to be. But what happens now is we go into turns. Uh, since there was no turn zero, time was turn zero. I am turn one. Mark is turn two, and I'm turn three. Right. If there's no winner determined um, after that, which I would be impossible just about, um, then it just goes to whoever takes the first prize, mm -hmm. which is very bad for me. Double mulligan. Very bad for me because <clears throat> it's a lot easier for him to take a prize than for me to take a prize. This is true. And I believe I had a Lele in hand, and I'm I was debating on starting it. Because I was afraid of a knockout, because right. I am going first. Um, if I had known the way the time went, so I, get, I do get two mulligans. Uh, there's a Bridget, so that's actually a good start. But 
I really need to work hard to try to get a knockout. So it looks like a Shelmet uh, is in the active. You got Rare Candy, Level Ball, Versi. I have, a, I have a decent start. I have a decent hand here. Mm -hmm. um, the problem is I have to take the first prize. Which, like it's, you said... It's very hard because usually I depend on, with this deck, letting mm -hmm. him get all the way down to one prize left before I get mm -hmm. the lock-in in. Um, I think best scenario in an ideal world, you would be able to fill your bench, have Zorark GX in the active, and two-shot something. That would be ideal. That's ideal. Um, uh, but he only needs three energy and a choice band to knock out the Zorark. So that's true. not that's not impossible it's, it's with not all exactly. the energy switches. <laughs> and yeah, so it's not exactly ideal for you either. So I really want to get locked out here. I really yeah. want to get um, Lillipup down, have Rare Candy Stoutland, and just try to establish lock almost a turn two immediately. I need my second turn to, to lock him out. So, And after you said that, it makes way more sense to do that than try to lead with Zorark. <laughs> right, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I want to try to get him locked out because, you know, no matter what happens, uh, he can attack this turn. I can't even put a Zorark up. Right. So, I mean, I have to put up the... Uh, yeah, you got to get set up. Yeah, it doesn't matter, like, what he... He's either going to knock out my active or he's not mm -hmm. because I can't evolve. So, even putting the Lele up... It doesn't matter because he's, you know, I don't want to waste the float stone. I don't want to waste the energy. Um, it's just, it made more sense for me not to put it to Lele. So. Right, right. And it's almost just as easy for him to knock out Lele as it is your basics. Right, absolutely. I mean, all, all he needs yeah, is he a, needs a choice band. He needs a choice band, yeah. but he's got green. So. But actually, he doesn't need a choice band. He just has to GX. Right. Three so, energy yeah. GX, it doesn't matter. So either way, he has to have three energy. Mm-hmm. So it just made more sense for me to do it the way I did it. Um, yeah, with the Bridget, right I have a decent setup. I have a decent hand. So I do have a shot here. Um, he's going to play Max Elixir. He's going to whiff the Max Elixir here. Mm -hmm. And he is turn two right now. He, yeah, he is turn two. Of course you want to hit the Max Elixirs, but it's not the worst thing in the world because, you know, the, the one energy well, he's, well it, it surges energy. Yeah, but he also needs uh, three energy. Right. So he really needed to get the max elixir here. There's greens. Because if he takes a prize here, there's no way that I can tie the game after time because I am turn three. Mm -hmm. It's impossible. So he really so he, so he needed to get the knockout here. But yeah, he's going to greens and go ahead and set it for the next turn. I'm yeah. not sure what he's going to be looking for. That would totally be possible too because you can just max elixir, max elixir, attach, switch out. Right. And then yeah. this mm -hmm. game. Yeah. So if. With his greens, I don't know if he's going to grab an energy switch or I don't. I didn't see if he had an energy in hand. I assumed he would already attach it though. That yeah. way he was. That way he could fairy song. He may not have an energy in hand. I didn't. I wasn't able to see. Yeah, I feel like if you have the energy in hand, you just you like, go ahead slam and play it. it yeah, absolutely. Because you need fairy song and just get ready to go uh, mm -hmm. on your other. Yeah, because if he knows that you can't take a knockout the next turn. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. There's no uh, way. Yeah. There's no. It's going to take me. I'm. It's. It's going to take me at least three turns to mm -hmm. take a knockout at least because i'm gonna have to go 60 twice with a cell gore and then hope for skyfield and a full bench with either zorark or mu ex so yeah. yeah he's got plenty of time you know time's not a factor because it's first one to take a prize mm-hmm um, so, so the pressure is definitely on me. So he's gonna grab Max Elixir and Greens, which makes total sense. Yeah, um, Greens for next turn. Right, play the Max Elixir now. and then play the Greens. Because uh, what you do is he probably would he'll Fairy Song, play the Greens next turn, grab the Scramble Switch, mm -hmm. and then that's game. Yeah, because yeah. I can't. There, there's no way I can defend that. He whiffs he's again. Yeah, wow. <laughs> he he whiffed another Max Elixir. I, yeah, I'm not thinking that he has an energy. To I'm wondering how. Turn. Like, I'm trying to think of how many energy he plays. It's got to be quite a few. It's got to be at least nine. I would think. Well, he sent me his list, but uh, no, he plays twelve fairy energy. Yeah. So yeah, he it's for him to whiff. That's kind of insane. So. And he did not even have an attachment. For All right, him. so I did not see what I drew. I go ahead and attach the floatstone to Lillipup because at this point it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. uh, if he has a fill blower, he has a fill blower. Mm -hmm. But I am basically trying to go all out here. I have no choice. I think you were about to play the Lele, and then you didn't because of power plant. Because of power plant, <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, so I, I played anyways, though, because I had to call rest. I need to call rest mm -hmm. for six. Right. So I really wanted a Lele for uh, Sycamore there to mm -hmm. just dump my hand. Definitely. But I dropped the Lele anyways under power plant. Didn't do a deck search. Went ahead and call rest for six. 
Yeah, and you have a showman in the active, yes. Yeah, yeah, so uh, really want to try to get the lock established here, definitely. So, like, right now, you draw DCE, Excel Gore, I need DCE, Excel Gore, Rare Candy, Stoutland. That, I need all of this. Uh, and then, yeah, yeah, real easy. Let's see what happens here. Excel Gore, Rare Ultra Ball. Okay, there's oh. a Cell Gore. Okay, so I have a Cell Gore. You almost had it. Yeah, yeah, you, almost. Let's see what I do here. I mean, you can Ultra Ball for Zork to try for more. Well, I can't use Zork because Power Plant. You're right. Yeah. Never so mind. I don't know what I don't know what to do here. This is crazy, and I don't have DCE either, do I? No. No. So, but he did whiff the elixir, so he's probably not going to get the knockout. Yeah. He's, so I, oh yeah yeah. So I go ahead and prop because I can prop under Power Plant. Yeah. So I go ahead and Ultra GX. Ball. See what I grab here. You do go ahead okay, and I do. Evolve. I do grab the Vorak here. Okay, that's that's probably a smart play. I don't know how I'm gonna get rid of the power plant though. I didn't see a fill blower. Excel I'm gonna blower. go ahead and drop the Excel Gore. Oh, there's fill blower. Oh, I do have fill blower. Okay, so I can fill blower now. I can prop trade. Okay, okay, okay. There's prop trade. There's Showman a showment and counter catcher. I think I didn't see. Maybe it is counter catcher. Man, that's a really useless card in this. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and prop. Ultra Ball. The counter catcher. Yep, it's useless, mm -hmm. so I might as well just use it. Yeah, and at this point, you may just be deck See what I grab here. here. Okay. Uh, I think I'm eyeing up a Hurtier, actually. That would make a lot of sense. I'm not going to lie. Hurtier. F I'm not sure what I'm going to do here, though, with it. Let's see. So oh, it is a Hurtier. Okay, so I can use Treasure Hunt. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what I'm hunting down here. Maybe the Dowsing Machine? That would make a lot of sense because with the egg, you just have to right, discard one card. Right, right, right. So let's see. Dowsing machine, you can just save for later and get whatever. So I'm looking at my need. discard here. I grab the herdier. The only other thing that might make sense is an ultra ball or a level ball. Yeah. I really need energy. I don't think I have a way to get it. You should just um, run an energy lotto. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass here with herdier in hand mm -hmm. because it doesn't really matter. There's well, really nothing I need yet. So yeah, and you don't want to play it, and then he just knocks it right, out. Right, right. So he attaches for turn. I imagine that was a top deck. And then, so we established that that was turn three for me, but it doesn't matter now. We're going to uh, basically next prize wins. Mm -hmm. All right. So he's going to have to have a lot here to be able to knock me out. I think that's why I went ahead and passed. I didn't have a choice, obviously, but right. I mean, I could have retreated. <clears throat> um, yeah, he Mark would need double max elixir. Yeah, so here's the greens. I mean, he could be getting... I mean, if he has Switch or Scramble Switch in hand, or Max Elixir in hand, he could get Max Elixir, Switch, Right, he would have to Scramble Max switch. Elixir, attach, but, and then Scramble Switch. But that would be putting it all on the line. Like, do you go for that here, or do you just play Well, Switch? there's the Scramble Switch, so he's got it. Yeah, I absolutely need to get rid of that Scramble Switch. I feel like that's a must, though. Like, he has to get No, he, he has to Scramble Switch, and... If he has energy in hand, you max. I mean, you, you grab another max elixir, mm -hmm. right? So yeah, you yeah. go max elixir, attach, scramble, switch, game. Well, he. I think he attached there for turn. Oh, that's right. He did. He's so already attached. You so have to, you would have, have to have double max elixir, max elixir yeah. but and then hit both. Yeah, and he's already playing greens here, so he's not going to be able to draw into any more cards. So he's probably, so he's not going to be able to attack this turn either. So he's going to go ahead and grab burst seeker. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure why you grab burst seeker unless there's something in the deck you. Or in the discard you need because you can just grab whatever you want. Well, because he has to assume that he's going to be supported like next turn, and so like I don't I don't know why you'd get first seeker. I mean, you you should expect to be like right. you should never expect to have a turn. So with there's supporters. lab, uh, which really doesn't do anything. I think he's just getting rid of stuff out of his deck, out of his hand, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so well, lab does keep me from using propagate. True, because it is basic. Yeah, so I'm not going to be able so to use Propagate. Now he shows a game win because he has Scramble Switch in hand. Right, yeah, he's got Scramble Switch in hand. So, Oh, did I just top deck the in? I think I top decked an in. And you're eyeing the field blower again. Yep, I'm probably going to blow the stadium. So I'm assuming that I go Hurtier for blower, blower stadium. That would make sense. To be able to prop. And I'm definitely going to Hurtier the one without the float stone. All right, so Hurtier and... Let's see. Yeah, I'm assuming I grab Blower here. Yeah, Field Blower maybe. Are you, I mean, I almost have to, right? Okay, so yeah, so I grab Blower. Yep, so I'm going to Blower the Stadium. Absolutely. 
I think I in first. Yeah, in before I trade. So the scramble mm-hmm. switch out of his hand now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's good. So th- th- I mean, this is looking up. This is looking up. I'm doing everything. I'm doing everything I can. You know, the cool thing about her here is it's staying illegal. Yeah, for, yeah, for like, now. Yeah, for now. For next until ne- until two weeks from now. Yeah. There's not. I don't have a lot of standard legal cards in here. Man, I gotta. I gotta play. And matter of fact, it's matter of fact, after rotation, this is all expanded. There's nothing standard legal here yeah. after. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. I gotta play Pissimian before he goes. All away. right, so let's see. Pissimian. There you go. <laughs> One more time. Are you gonna play it next weekend? All right, so there's a prop <laughs> trade. Yo, there Stoutland. Is Stoutland, right Rick off Seeker. the bat. So do I have rare candy? Yes. You I do, do have rare candy. Okay, so rare candy on Stoutland. DCE, so I am going to get lock at least once here. Okay, this is good. So, yeah, deck and cover, and obviously we're going to put the Stoutland up. So there's 60, and he is paralyzed and poisoned. Uh, drop the in, so there is no scramble switch in hand. Mm-hmm. So I swear, dude, if I, were, if I were you guys, my heart would be pounding right now. Yeah, no, I mean, you know, for him, <laughs> like it's... Like, on the edge of my seat. Well, like, you, you got to know that I'm not going to be able to get the lock in for very long. I mean, right. but to get the lock this early for this deck and to be able to keep it going because my deck is so full, mm-hmm. that's the problem is I have to be able to draw into a Selgor, draw into DCE, um, and that's why you want to thin as quick as possible. Um, you expect to get Stoutland and stuff knocked mm-hmm. out, but I can't get it knocked out here because that's game. So here's a Max Elixir. I did see a uh, Trainer's Mail on his hand, in Mark's hand. Okay, so there's the Elixir. He did hit a Fairy. So now he needs a Switch. Switch or Scramble Switch. That's it. Yes, uh, yeah, Switch or Scramble Switch is game. So. Two cards out of maybe Th- He's got a, 40. a pretty full deck there. Yeah, a pretty mm-hmm. full deck, and he's only got two. Two outs. All right, so here we go. Yeah, battle compressor. Oh, okay, battle compressor. He's going to thin here. He's going to thin here. Very smart, very smart. I mean, he doesn't need more energy, so I guess you just drop. I mean, it doesn't really matter what you drop. Well, I feel like you just take out everything that's useless. Like, all this stuff. Well, energy is useless. Phoebus is yeah. useless. Because you're not, you're not ever going to bench any of those. Right. No, of course not. Because you just knock them out with Dusclops if you get set up. Right, if I get set up. So there's another yeah. battle compressor. Okay. So well, I also run Guzma, so I could mm-hmm. theoretically Guzma up the um, Phoebus. True, true. So yeah, so none of that stuff's thinning, gonna be dropped. Yeah, he's thinning, 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 thinning. Yeah, absolutely. So that that helps the percentages quite a bit. There's a dive ball. Wow, dive ball! I didn't even realize he played dive ball. Yeah, so you can grab any Pokemon. That was pretty there. good for yeah. uh, well, not any, but you know the Melodic and Phoebus. Yeah, yeah. And Volpix. Oh no, no, I saw. Yeah, that's right. He did. He grabbed a. Uh, uh, he grabbed a Melodic. So there's Trainer's Mail. Yeah, one. Let's two, see what he gets here. Three, four. Wow. Oh, and he's got the scramble <laughs> switch for the game. Wow, wow. what a game. Yeah, that was pretty that was That was pretty amazing. Oh, there's a Guzma. Yeah, there's there. my Guzma, yeah, which doesn't matter. So, wow, that was, um, yeah. That was a heater. That was a heater. That was a heck of a match. Uh, if I could have just uh, avoided the scramble switch, I still would have had to have gotten deck and cover one more time, mm-hmm. even before I would be able to try to use Zorark or mm-hmm. Mew to get the Riders beating. So, Chances of me winning that game three were um, pretty slim. Very slim. Pretty slim. Unless he st- unless he gets the Phoebus start, which I was kind of hoping he would get yeah. the Phoebus start for well, thirty. And he even had like kind of a slow start too. So yeah, he, he did. Had, he you had, had a pretty he, good start. I had a really good start. And um, he had a pretty slow start. I like to think that if this game uh, wasn't on time, that I would mm-hmm. take that game, game mm-hmm. three. Um, can't say for sure what happens because you know you never know. How I would have played it, I would have probably played it a little different because at that point I'm rushing, trying to get mm-hmm. things going to be able to get lock as fast as I can. Um, so yeah, but that was an epic game. Uh, well, game one was definitely good. Game game three, game two. Wow, I really just bricked. Just yeah. I mean, it's like drop a basic and pass, and then let him knock it out, and then just keep doing that over and over. I could not get the supporter to save my life. So, um, but yeah, so that's deck and cover. Of, I'm sorry, bark and cover. Uh, Selgor Stoutland. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people want to see it. Uh, there's going to be a deck profile on the Team Reaper uh, YouTube channel as well. Mm-hmm. Probably and, before uh, this video comes out. Probably before the video comes out. So, yeah, you can uh, check it for that if you want to check out the deck list and everything. Um, shout out real quick, though, Tom Philby, Scott Creech, Evan Malone for uh, the testing and everything for the deck and the build. Um, I hope I did I hope I hope did my daddy, Tom Philby, proud. Um but uh, yeah, so that was that was really fun. I'm glad I got to go. Uh, th- I went 302. Mm-hmm. Um, 
to be actually tied you round one. Yeah, round one. And you played, I would have won that you game. You played Drampa Garb. You played Drampa Garb. I had to. Um, you set up the lock. I toward, set up. I set end. up the lock towards the end, and then uh, forced a tie, mm-hmm. which is what I had to do. Mm-hmm. So, um, no, but yeah, Garb is Garb is like my horrible it, no, matchup. <laughs> yeah. Well, I had Garb and Parallel City. Like no, that's true. Is... Yeah, you did. You <laughs> dropped Parallel City on me a couple times, and I'm just like, oh, what am I gonna do You're here? Like, why are you so, like this, Chris? Why are you like <laughs> this? Yeah. So Garb uh, to tie Garb though is absolutely awesome. But yeah, I went 302. Was able to make top four. Uh, that was my first top four of the season, so I'm at 32 mm-hmm. points, nice. and super happy about that. And congratulations on Mark for for uh, beating me and going to the championship. So, yeah. So next will be the finals, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah. So I'm Clayton with Team Ruby TCG, and I'm Chris. We're signing off. Signing off. Thanks for watching.